Thank you for your time tonight. Pleasure. You are possibly the most powerful person in the government, aren't you? Well, I don't know about that. I'm not the Prime Minister. No, I didn't say you were the Prime Minister. In fact, you're just a backbencher, aren't you? That's right, yeah. So why are so many people frightened of you? I don't know that people are frightened of me. Scott Morrison's frightened of you. Scott Morrison's frightened of a lot of things. Yes, why? Well, I imagine the Prime Minister's had a bit of a word with him. Why do you imagine that? Because I told the Prime Minister to have a bit of a word with him. Why did you do that? I don't like his policies. And what did you say to the Prime Minister? I told the Prime Minister I'd seen his superannuation policy and I was not happy. And did he agree to change that policy? Of course he did. He's a good boy. And it wasn't just me, there was a whole lot of us. Other backbenchers? Yeah, that's right. It's a pretty remarkable story. Um, so how do you run a government from the backbench? Well, it's not easy. You've got to know what you're doing. When you go to see the Prime Minister, for example, what does he say? He says, hello, how lovely to see you. I trust the other backbenchers are in excellent fettle. Do sit down. Would you like a barley sugar? Can I get you a drink? Stuff like that. What do you say? I ask him if he enjoys being Prime Minister. Which he clearly does. Which he does. He loves being Prime Minister. And, and what do you say then? I say I hope he can continue on in that important role. And what might happen if he doesn't? Might have to get another one. New Prime Minister? Another Prime Minister. But don't the voters decide on who's going to be the Prime Minister? <laughs> Yeah, 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 they do sometimes. Yeah. I've actually given that yeah, to him as a choice. What choice? Well, I've said, you know, would you like to continue as Prime Minister or should we perhaps have an election? And what does he say? Well, he used to say we should perhaps have an election. But he doesn't say that anymore. He's stopped saying that now. Why is that? Well, there was a bit of an incident a couple of months ago and... Uh, what happened? Well, he was cleaning the electorate one night and... Uh, it went off? Went off, yeah. Any damage? Hell of a mess. Hell of a mess. Any fingerprints left? Fingerprints all over the joint, yeah. Whose? Prime Minister's. The Prime Minister, so you're actually protecting him? I'm actually protecting him, exactly right. This is what I tell him all the time. And is he grateful? Oh, he's very grateful, yeah. And how does he express that gratitude? Well, he changed the superannuation policy, no worries there. Mm. Now, is it true that you and Corey Bernardi were doing donuts on the lawn at, uh, at the lodge last week? No, no. You were there though, weren't you? We were there, but we didn't do any donuts. Do you know who it was? Yeah, I watched it happen. Who was it? It was the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister? Why did he do that? Well, Corey and Peter Dutton and I were sitting there, we'd had a couple and we were a bit bored and we thought it'd be a good idea to get Malcolm down here and get him to do some circle work. Was it a good night? It was a hell of a night, yeah.